Hi friends! Welcome back to another ukulele tutorial. Today we're looking at the song Our House. This is such a sweet song and it's the winner of the latest song poll on my Patreon page. We're going to look at three ways to play this song, starting with an easy, slow strumming pattern, then moving into a faster strumming pattern, and then into a finger picking pattern, actually a Travis picking pattern, which goes so nicely with this song. You can use any one of the patterns to play through the entire song, or you can alternate between them. I'm going to show you my favorite way to play this song, alternating between the three patterns. Throughout this lesson, you'll find the chords, lyrics, and patterns on screen. If you'd like to download the song sheet as a PDF, you can do so from my Patreon page, along with my songbook that covers all of the songs that I've shared in my tutorials. By becoming a patron, you can also participate in our monthly song polls. You'll find the link to my Patreon page down below in the video description. I want to highlight that I'm playing a tenor with a low G. If you have a high G on your instrument, you can follow this entire tutorial. Just keep in mind that the patterns will sound a bit different on your instrument, particularly the finger picking pattern, because your fourth string is one octave higher than mine. After the tutorial, I hope you'll join me for a play along where I'll play through the entire song and you can play along with me. Now let's get started by taking a look at the seven chords that are used in this song and how to play them. If you're already familiar with these chords, then skip ahead to our first strumming pattern. Our first chord is A. Here I have my index finger on the first fret of the third string and my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Then we go to A major seven. There are two ways that you could play this chord. One is to use your middle and index fingers on the first fret of strings three and four. Or another way that you can play this chord, transitioning from A, is to move your middle finger back one fret. This way may feel a little awkward, but it is more convenient, especially in this song where we go from A to A major 7 and then to F sharp minor. To play these three chords, we can keep our index finger in the same place the whole time. For F sharp minor, I have my index finger still on the first fret of the third string and my ring and middle fingers on the second fret of strings two and four. Next we go to our D chord, covering the second fret of strings two, three, and four. Next we have E. To play E, I'm placing my index finger on the second fret of the first string and my pinky, ring, and middle fingers on the fourth fret of strings two, three, and four. Then we have our F chord. For F, I have my index finger on the first fret of the second string and my middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Finally, we have our B minor seven chord. We transition to this chord from D in this song. So starting on D and going to B minor 7, we can simply place down our pinky on the second fret of the first string. If you find it uncomfortable to squeeze in all four fingers here, then you can also play this as a bar chord. Now we've come to our first strumming pattern. This is a nice, slow, easy arpeggio pattern that will apply to the first couple lines of the song that are played at a slower tempo. Let's take a close look at this pattern and how to apply it to the first couple lines of our first verse. Taking a look at our first strumming pattern, we're doing one down strum on our first beat. One, two, three, four. We're going to use this pattern in the slower parts of the song, the first two lines and the last two lines, 
and it sounds a bit sweeter to play this as an arpeggio or a broken chord than it does to do a traditional downstrum. For the first two lines of verse 1, we'll apply any of our patterns one time to each chord. So using this first strumming pattern as an example, the first line will start on our A chord, then we'll go to A major 7, then to F sharp minor, and then back to A. Now I'll play through the first two lines at a slow tempo, adding in the lyrics. I'll light the fire You place the flowers in the vase that you bought today For our second strumming pattern, we're going to pick up the tempo. Let's take a close look at this pattern and how to apply it to the rest of verse 1. Here's our second strumming pattern played slowly on an A chord. We're doing a downstrum on each beat, but the first downstrum is going to be played louder than the next three. One, two, three, four. For the second, third, and fourth downstrums, I've indicated these with a lowercase d rather than an uppercase to indicate that these should be played a little bit softer, and you might only catch the bottom two or three strings playing these downstrums. We'll apply this pattern to lines three through six of our first verse. All of these chords are held for four beats, so we'll play any of our patterns one time on each chord. Using the second pattern as an example, line three will look like this, starting on our A chord, then going to A major seven, then to F sharp minor, and then back to A. When we get to our final F chord, at the end of line six, we're going to play only the first downstrum on the first beat. This helps to emphasize the end of the verse. So playing through line six will look like this, starting on F sharp minor, then to A, then to D, and ending on our F chord. Now I'll add in the lyrics to lines three through six of the first verse. Staring at the fire for hours and hours while I listen to you Play your love songs all night long for me Only for me If you're enjoying this lesson, please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I hope you're enjoying my teaching style and I would love for you to subscribe. Now we're moving into our third pattern, which is a Travis picking pattern. This is one of my favorite finger picking patterns. It's such a beautiful pattern and it goes so nicely with this song. So let's take a look at how to play this pattern and how to apply it to our second verse. Here's our Travis picking pattern played slowly on an A chord. I'm starting by picking strings four and one together with my thumb and middle finger. Then I'm picking string three with my thumb string two with my index finger, back to string four with my thumb, down to string one with my middle finger, and finishing on string three with my thumb. The rhythm of this pattern is one and two and three and four and. 
bringing this pattern up to the tempo of this song will sound like this. Now let's take a look at our second verse. We'll apply any of our patterns one time to every chord throughout the verse. And when we get to the final F at the end of line six, we can pick all four strings, or we can do a down strum arpeggio like we did at the end of the first verse. So using our Travis picking pattern on line six will look like this, starting on F sharp minor. Now adding in the lyrics to our second verse, Everything is done. Such a cozy room. The windows are illuminated by the evening sunshine through them. Fiery gems for you. Only for you. second verse comes our first chorus. Let's take a look at how to apply our second strumming pattern to the chorus. For the chorus, we'll apply any of our patterns one time to each chord until we get to the second D on line four. This is the only chord in the whole song that's held for eight beats or two full patterns. So if we're playing our second strumming pattern, on line four, we start on our D chord, then we go to A, then back to D for two patterns, then to B minor seven, and we're going to end with one down strum on our D chord. This again helps to emphasize the end of the chorus. If we're finger picking the chorus, then we can pick all four strings together. Now adding the lyrics to our chorus using the second strumming pattern. we have a beautiful singing section that's made up of just one word, la. La la, la 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 la. So let's take a look at how to play these two lines using both our Travis picking pattern and our second strumming pattern. For this section, I'm going to use our Travis picking pattern on line one and our second strumming pattern on line two. Taking a look at line one, Whichever pattern we use, we'll apply it one time to each chord. And when we get to the E chord at the end of this line, we're going to do one down strum, or we can finger pick all four strings. Now I'll sing through this first line, adding in all of the la la la's. La, la. The second line, once again, we'll apply any of our patterns one time to each chord, and when we get to the final F, we'll do one down strum, or we can pick all four strings. This will lead us into the next chorus. So here's how it looks to play through the second line using our second strumming pattern. we have our second and final chorus. Now on our first chorus, we applied our second strumming pattern. So for the second chorus, let's apply our Travis picking pattern. The second chorus is played the same way as the first. 
Every chord is held for four beats until we get to the second D on line four. So if we apply our Travis picking pattern to line four, we'll start on our D chord, then we'll go to A, then back to D for a total of eight beats or two patterns, then to B minor seven, and then on our D chord at the end of line four, we'll pick all four strings. Now I'll add in the lyrics playing through this second chorus using our Travis picking pattern. section of the song, which is our outro. This section is only two lines long, and the lyrics are the same as the first two lines of the song in verse one. The chords are a bit different. So let's take a look at how to finish the song using our first easy strumming pattern. The first line of our outro is played the same way as the first line of verse one. So we use the same chord progression. And we do actually have one additional word here, the word while, while you place the flowers. Whereas in verse one, we just sing, you place the flowers. Line two uses a different chord progression. So using our first easy strumming pattern, we're starting on D, then we go to our F chord, and we finish on our A chord. Here we've slowed down the tempo, so transitioning from our chorus into the outro, we're slowing down the tempo with this first strumming pattern. Now I'll play through these final two lines with the lyrics. I'll light the fire while you place the flowers in the vase that you bought today. into our play along. I'm going to play through the entire song alternating between the three patterns. I'll play this instrumental only without the lyrics so that you can really hear how I move back and forth between the different patterns and transition between the chords. The lyrics and chords will be on screen so if you'd like you can also sing along. Five, six, seven, eight.
beautiful ways to play our house. Have fun practicing this wonderful song and thanks for watching.